What's up everyone? Welcome back to the Durbin Compound. If you're meeting me for the first time, my name is Devin Durbin. I'm here to bring you the tools, tips, and tricks to make you guys more self-sufficient. So today is another tool review, the Milwaukee Cabler cable stapler just came out. Uh, Milwaukee released this last month, but it just hit stores last week. Um, I have been unable to find this crown stapler or cable stapler for a couple days now, um, only with the help of some awesome employees at Home Depot. Shout out to you, Hayden, in the Columbus store. Uh, he was able to help me find this tool uh, when it didn't have a home and there was no display yet. So I've got one of the first ones out of the store and I'm excited to test it because uh, it's a brand new offering that I'm really excited about. So if you'd like to hear what I have to say about it, stay tuned. All right, guys, so if you've seen one of my tool reviews before, uh, you know that I'm a no-nonsense guy. I'm not gonna bore you with all kinds of useless information. Uh, like this thing holds 45 staples and it can fire like 1,200 staples per battery, blah, 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 blah. If you're an electrician uh, or you're looking at this tool or looking to buy this tool, uh, you're looking for efficiency, you're looking for a better option than hand nailing a Brad staple. So. This is obviously a little bit larger of a tool. Um, by no means is it going to get you in any spot that's really cramped. Um, you know, you would run into the same problem with trying to hit a staple in with a hammer. In those spots where you wouldn't be able to hit with a hammer, you're not gonna be able to orient this in a way that it's gonna hammer any better or put a staple in any better than a hammer. So uh, what I do really love about this is that it has a nice window here so you can see the staples. Um, yes, the staples are proprietary. Um, if you're looking for the staples, uh, the number is MNM1-600. Uh, these are three quarter inch staples and they come in a box of 600. So it's not like you have to buy this box all the time, uh, but they're corrugated staples. So you have to use a proprietary staples for this gun. Otherwise you wouldn't be able to, it's not like you're gonna be able to hit a staple if it's not corrugated like this and ready to load in the magazine. So, I mean, you have to have reasonable expectations about a gun like this. It has to run on something like this. So the one thing that I like the most about this is it's automatic depth set. So if you push this thing nice and hard into the wire. I'll bring you guys in close so you can see this, but you bring this close to the wire and if you really put some pressure down, it will sink a staple nice and tight where it will hold a wire uh, in, in place very well. Uh, if you press even harder, you can get it to hold the wire so that it won't slip out. So uh, you can keep wire from moving um, if you wanna staple something like coax or things like that. You don't need to worry about it it over crimping the wire. Um, you literally just set the depth yourself. You set the tension on the wire. If you had a double wire here um, and you wanted to double down on some 12-2, you can definitely hit it there and it will keep your, keep your wire right, nice and tidy. Uh, and it really, you know, it has, it's worth its weight in gold. <laughs> I'm lost for words, um, but this thing is really cool. Um, I, I really enjoy tools like this that make me more efficient. Um, I think the staple could look a little better, but I mean, what else do you expect to be able to fit that amount of staples in the magazine and have that low profile? Now, I tested this yesterday and um, I wanted to show you guys that these staples are not easy to remove. So if you're uh, if you are uh, used to removing the metal staples or the nails, you'd really have to have some force to pull these nails out. So they have some kind of red coating on them. I'm not exactly sure what it is. I'm sure the box would tell me, but it's coated with something um, that makes it a little bit uh, less likely to pull out. Um, but you know, these are one inch insulated cable staples and this tool is pretty darn impressive. And being able to fire 1200 staples on one battery charge, the ability to run the big M12 battery pack or the small battery pack, a belt clip, a battery indicator, just like every other M12 tool. Um, it's really easy to load this bad boy from the bottom, uh, load and unload. Um, it just has a little notch out here. You stick the staples in and you put it back together and you are 
rocking and rolling. I did not orient that correctly and went right through my Romex, but um, good thing <laughs> good thing this is uh, for instructional purposes only. Um, this tool retails right now for $230. Um, is that a little steep? Ah, yeah, I think so. Uh, Bear tool, I would love to see it around the $180 mark. Um, like just about every other M12 bear tool is around the $180 mark. Um, the staples go for like $17 a box of 600. You can fire two full boxes on one battery charge. I think they, they advertise it on the 2.0. So you have a bunch of options here um, with just the, the capability and the efficiency that this is going to give you. Uh, imagine a run that would take you uh, probably half an hour to staple with actual Brad staples. No matter how good you are, you're not going to be as fast as this machine. Um, this semi-automatic weapon here will get it done and uh, fire these quickly. So if you're roughing out a house, um, this is <laughs> definitely a game changer. Now, one thing that before we end the video, one thing that everybody's going to be all uh, questioning about is will it fire into the old hardwoods from old construction homes where we're doing renovations? So what I did was bring out an old barn beam and I don't think it gets much harder than this when it comes to wood. So I want to show you guys, do I have another piece of Romex? Probably not. Um, let me go find another piece of Romex. All right, so hopefully we can uh, see I'm wasting wire. So <laughs> wire's not cheap these days. All right, so old barn beam uh, firing, you know, these cable staples into an old barn beam. Let's see if it sinks it 100%. Now, um, I let the tool jump a little bit. Maybe I need to... Okay, so um, into these old barn beams, uh, it definitely leaves a little bit to be desired. I mean, it fires it about halfway in there. The rest of it's going to be have to hit, have to be hit in with a hammer. Um, the DeWalt tool suffers the same problem here. I mean, um, how do you, how do you get any better performance out of this? Um, you know, these are geared towards new construction framing and, and rough out. So the old renovations and, and things like that, when you're firing into old barn beams and old two by fours, there has to be some reasonable expectations here. Um, if I didn't have the wire, um, it sets it just about the same depth. So um, it, it's a little bit less um, than what it would be in a traditional two by four. But I mean, you have to have realistic expectations that old hardwood is not like the new stuff that we're framing with these days. So um, this is completely acceptable to me that, you know, in, in a renovation, it's not like we're um, doing a lot of crazy work in old homes with old two by fours, more than likely it's going to be framed out um, with tradition, new, new lumber instead of using all of the old two by fours. In some instances, yes, you will have those renovations that you're using old lumber, but this is still a game changer. Um, to just have to go back and, and whack each of these once in order to tighten up the staples, that really isn't anything that I would give it a thumbs down for or even dock at points for. So we always have to have reasonable expectation with, reasonable expectations with tools because um, they can think of everything, but it's still uh, in, in, out in the real world and operating it in a construction site or remodeling area, it just isn't perfect all the time. So I hope you guys like the video. Uh, definitely click subscribe, hit that like button. Give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Doesn't matter to me, whatever you're into. Um, I guess uh, this is my first review in a long time, so um, I gotta get back into it. I've been busy doing remodeling, so um, it's just one of those things. You get busy with the business and you know you either make money and a living or you do YouTube videos. So I hope you guys missed me and uh, you'll be seeing more content coming out uh, shortly in the near future on all kinds of different stuff. But hope you guys enjoyed the video and we'll see you on the next one.